it's funny, this game, it doesn't really feel like ping pong. He looks intimidating. Like, if you, if you, if you don't let him win, he's gonna, like, take you in to the Empire and collect the bounty on you. Sometimes you gotta wait for a while for an opponent, but when you do get another person, it's pretty fun. The temptation with ping pong is to overdo it. I mean, this is a racquetball. It's ping pong. Okay, today we're gonna play some Racket Fury. This game kind of pisses me off, but it's addicting. All right, we've already played a little bit. I've upgraded to this guy right here. Let's see what the settings look like. Video settings, you can't change anything. Not in here anyway. Wow, I had the graphics cranked up pretty good yesterday through ADB commands, but hey, that's whatever. Play with this guy, here we go. Oh yeah. This robot's kind of a jerk. When when you lose he gloats, he likes to gloat. Just goes down into space. This game really evokes a sense of competition. I think it helps that the robot kind of gloats, makes you feel like you want to beat him. This guy was beating me so bad last night. He was spanking me so bad. He kept gloating about it, I just wanted to punch him. with ping pong is to overdo it. I mean, this is a racquetball. It's ping
ping pong. And you can do things like when you, when you like win, you get money, so you can like buy different things for yourself, like upgrades, I guess, for your character. I don't think it has anything. I don't think it changes anything. Um, and I have this game. <laughs> I had this game cranked up to much better resolution last night. It looks so low resolution right now. Um, you can do that through ADB commands. I have a video on that if you want to know how to do that. But generally, when you do that, it doesn't have enough resources to also record. So I'm just leaving it at the default resolution right now. Well, it can record, but it's kind of choppy. So anyhow. So I don't know what this is. Like, what's this Rob Rusty thing? Like, armlet? Let's, let's buy it. Just to see. I have arm things on that. I mean, you don't see them when you're playing. So... I'm not sure if this is just, it has, I don't think this has any functional use to it. So, but it's cool. I mean, it is fun. You can also play against different robots. Like, like this guy looks like Boba Fett, kind of. Let's try to play him. I don't know if, I don't know if their skills are any different. Let's find out. intimidating like if you if you if you don't let him win he's gonna like take you in to the Empire and collect the bounty on you that was a good one language like their, their movements are very fluid they're very nice the problem one of the challenges is that playing this without six degrees of freedom with only three, you can only swing. And usually when I play ping pong, I want to go like this with the ball. That doesn't work, that doesn't translate when you're playing this game. Doing this won't do anything, you'll just miss the ball. feels like ping pong. It feels like you're playing ping pong for the most part. You just have to train yourself not to move in six degrees of freedom. You have to train yourself not to hit the ball 
like this. And you have to take advantage of the way that it plays. It makes it so that you can just, the ball is always ball is always within swinging range. You don't have to reach your arm out. <clears throat> Dang it. I'm getting cocky. How mad he gets. try to six degrees of freedom can be a problem. Well, the lack of six degrees of freedom. But if you get used to it, it's pretty fun. You do have to adjust though. Sometimes it seems like, you know what, I should have hit that. Why did that not work? Is there a glitch in the game? You know? So, what's up? So does that mean we're done? We just, oh, okay. Got more experience. Oh, that's cool. Wow. I got more experience from this guy. Okay, so apparently, um, one, two, three, Apparently, um, if you beat higher guys, go up the level more, I guess you get more experience. Now here's another game we're going to test out, okay? This is, there's another ping pong game on the market. Okay, the one we just played was Racket Fury. Racket Fury Table Tennis VR. It does not have uh, any multiplayer at all. It would be cool if they had multiplayer. They don't, and I don't know if they're ever going to but it does feel like you're actually playing ping pong. The other one is just called ping pong. All right, ping pong, loading. That's a really cool opening scene. The logo just comes in. It's really cool looking. Okay, I'm looking at Slimer here. Let's now try new, tech, try new unique avatars, okay? Um, avatar. Avatar, avatar. I have to buy this guy? I have to buy him, right? In app purchases? Well, well, well. Okay, let's see. Which ones do I own? Oh. 
coin do I have? None. Okay, I'm just gonna be this guy. Alright, so. With this game, you do have multiplayer. Right here, we'll just do single single player for now. Um, we'll show how it looks. Now, this is not at all. All you do is you move it back and forth. Like you can't swing. Swinging does nothing. You can do the trigger and that kind of does a swing for you, but um, this game is not bad, but it is does not really feel like ping pong. Because you're just moving in a fixed space, it's just, it's not, you can't swing. You can't swing it, you want to, you know, you want to take a hit at the ball, and it doesn't do that. And this robot has no attitude, right? It's just like, he doesn't make you angry. Unless you can become angry by his indifference, that he doesn't have an attitude, you know? Oh, it says that we're looking for an opponent. Like, this is like nothing compared to Racket Fury, right? Oh, you can do some emoticons. Like this game's not bad. Like if you like wanted to play ping pong and you're like on a train or you're, you know, this is the way you would want to do it because you can't swing if you're sitting down like on a train. This would be a great travel ping pong game. It requires very little physical movement from you. Very little. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to thrust your controller forward and it's supposed to be the same as a hard hit. Looking for an opponent. Okay, let's see. Let's do cancel. Do this. Um, let's do multiplayer. Let's do multiplayer. Um, no friends. I have no friends. And look, it shows like the Samsung controller instead of the Oculus Go one. It's weird. I feel like there's actually like I'm against the wall. Oh yeah, you can change your position right here. This is a bot. You change your position. So while I'm waiting for an opponent, it is actually fun to play against real people. That is fun. There's like this superhero mode where they do like weird abilities and I don't even understand it really. I didn't see anything that necessarily explained all of it in detail. It's like, was that an invisible ball? I don't know. This guy's like a magician, so he makes the ball disappear, I guess. And what is the way to do my own ability? I don't know. I don't know what my ability is. It's funny, this game, it doesn't really feel like ping pong. 
And it seems like I'm worse at it too than the actual Racket Fury game. Sometimes you gotta wait for a while for an opponent, but when you do get another person, it's pretty fun. See how long we have to wait. It's trying to fake me out. See, I can get closer too. What does this do? I don't know. Do the trigger for what is my my hero ability? Maybe I don't have one. You're supposed to swipe on the controller, I think, for the hero ability. It's just taking a while. I'm gonna go to five minutes for looking for an opponent and then I'm gonna give up. Come on, no opponents. Alright. Well, what else can we do? Options. Music hints. Right, different. What is that? Oh, this is new. This has got to be new. This is cool. Cool place to be doing stuff. Um, I like the music. I want, I want. Well, we know nobody's available apparently to do this. Tutorial. It shows you what you can do, classic mode, normal ping pong game. I mean, with their controls. The hero mode in this gets you the avatar abilities, so whatever avatar you pick, local device. Local, the devices are in the same network. You can play with other friends that are using Oculus Go's if they're connected to the same network, like the same Wi-Fi. Internet, you play with some opponents online. Strong hit, okay. There you go. Okay, activate avatar abilities, you press that down. See, it can only move up and down, left and right. It doesn't move. You can't swing, really. Let's see, strong hit. And it says, you, when I press the strong hit, I don't know. What's the difference? You just press it. It's the first strong hit, and you press it and move it forward. Is there a difference between strong hit? Anyhow. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, you can rotate it.
is uh, the difference between ping pong and racket fury. Um, they both have pros and cons. Uh, if you want to actually feel like you're really playing ping pong, uh, racket fury all the way. Uh, if you want to be able to play with another person, at some point, um, do ping pong. Now, if Racket Fury gets multiplayer, that'll be the dominating, absolute dominating, and all around ping pong game for the Oculus Go. Anyways, these are the only two I could find. I don't think there's any more. There might be another one, but I don't think so. Anyhow, so, um, but if you're just wanting to play Racket, uh, if you want to play ping pong, I would highly recommend Racket Fury. It feels like ping pong. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I kind of suck at it, but I was doing better today. Because literally, Racket Fury is the first game I've ever played on my Oculus Go long enough to kill the power on my Oculus Go. Like last night, I just shut down. I was playing it for like an hour straight. I don't do that. I never play on my Oculus Go that long. Last night was the first time. So anyhow, a lot of fun. Um, I will be playing it some more. So, all right, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, if you have any questions, post a comment. Uh, I'd like to know what you guys think about these games. Um, and subscribe. Thanks.